All right, guys, how you doing? Andy here. Welcome back to the last episode, episode five of the Suburban House. Let's build. It has been quite a journey. Sorry, it's taken a couple of weeks. I've been had so much to do with the server, but the UTB server is up and running and perfecto mundo right now. I tell you what, this is a quick spin around this house to see the outside of it. We're not going to landscape it. We're only going to furnish it today and it will be over to you. I'm going to give you a download of this map available in the distraction down below and you can get a furnished version and an unfurnished version of the house and play with it to your heart's content. It'll be compatible for Minecraft 1.9 in single player. Okay, so this is the great room and great rooms need great windows. So here we're going to add some windows on as well. This is the UTB texture pack. And those are grey mushroom blocks you can see me breaking just there with some pink stained glass which has got these little panes which is cool i like it um but yeah this great room needs to look great so um skipping on just a few minutes i have put in the start of a fireplace i'm just doing fill 80 30 which spins me in 30 radius circle of snow and you can see i've started to build up these big chunks in the corner full of dark oak upside down stairs and just finishing that off just there so a quick jump cut just to because it actually ended up being a bit fiddly but you can see it's just stairs round in uh, decreasingly concentric rectangles does that explain it anyway uh, using some stone bricks to build up the fireplace um, I like to do fireplaces like this make them very plain to start with um, and then I can go ahead and use stair blocks to make them really, really fancy. Right, I'm going to have some paintings in this little section just there. Same on the other side. In fact, I think I move them down one later on. So either side of the um, fireplace, we're going to have some shelving as well. And we're going to just finish off that there. So starting to make a ceiling, starting to make a, um, what would you call it, a fireplace as well. But this house has been hard work. The, the, the roof, if you remember the roofing episodes, oh my goodness, if you were here for the roofing episodes, you know they were really really difficult okay on the opposite side as well what i want to do um that was going to be a gap through to the kitchen but we're not going to let it be a gap actually i'm just going to seal this in and just make some shelves through from the other side i made a mistake on the plans i thought it was a see-through bit but then having a look at pictures of this build um it's not see-through it's just some shelves for the kitchen but um what i want to do is make uh the room a bit more symmetrical this great room i mean great rooms should be have some symmetry to them. By the way, if you want to see the plans for this build, the link to the plans are in the distraction down below as well. Um, so yeah, there we go. We just need to finish that across there, stick some books in, maybe a TV on this side. Um, my mouse was playing up all while I was recording this episode. My mouse was playing up and it kept spinning me around <laughs> all over the place. It was really annoying. Uh, more spin, more spin, more spin, more spin. Um, so I'd be facing the wall and then all of a sudden, boom, spin me around. Um, felt like Kylie Minogue. I didn't. Um, okay, so here's a little uh, shelf here. I'm going to put, um, I'm not going to put anything on that shelf, but it's going to be where the TV is going to go as well. And so for the TV, I'm just going to actually wimp out here and use some black maps. If you don't know how to do uh, maps, then watch my map video what are you waiting for watch my map video so i put black maps on there move them up one square as well now up here we're going to be super sneaky and do the old light behind the painting trick and uh, in utb texture pack i've got a two by two and a one by two painting which can add together to make uh, a two by three painting so um i'll put those on as well boom boom there we go Looking all right. I'm going to leave that wall nice and plain. Maybe you would put a moose head. I wish I thought of it. I wish I thought of it when I recorded this. By the way, I'm voicing over this um, just to cut out all the, the boring bits. Right. Got to make this fireplace look a bit better. So we'll go for a mantelpiece just like that. There we go. And then using nothing but stair blocks, we are going to pimp our fireplace. There we go. Need to add in some nether rack. There we go. Nice, big, fat, warm fireplace. I do like big fireplaces. Remember when I was a kid, we had a, a fireplace in this uh, really, really cold, tiny, spooky, dark cottage. And the fireplace was like the, the, um, it was the, the, it was the most encouraging part of the whole, the whole long cottage right on the coast up in the north east coast of Scotland. And oh my word, I just remember the freezing cold 
you would wake up in the middle of the night trying to go for a pee and padding along the carpet and, and then there was bare stone as well and bare feet ah! but yeah we had this fireplace and I tell you what um, there was a blackout once uh, in the village where I lived a little village called St Cyrus and uh, there was a four day power cut <laughs> no electricity for four days so people were really struggling they had things like paraffin heaters and things but we had this uh, coal fire and it was really nice because we could do porridge we could do toast we could heat up um, some hot water and get hot water bottles as well and in fact it was just me my mum and my sister and we got a, a mattress and just put it beside the coal fire and we slept it was like an adventure when you're eight years old uh, and we slept <laughs> in the living room beside the fire because it was in the middle of the winter and the ice hanging from the wires outside was four inch thick green sea ice hanging from the, the wires it was all dripping down it's probably why the electricity was broken but anyway back to the house have you been watching <laughs> we've got some shelves we've got some bookcases we've got a fancy ass um uh, fireplace we're gonna move these paintings painting squares down one as well and i'll put some paintings in there see my mouse spin round it's like a 360 no scope just spinning around why why am i looking at that painting so closely what what is going on right um there we go marlon monroe on that side and a jigsaw on that side there we are Looking all right, this room, I think. I'll get rid of these lights here. And, oh, I think we'll probably need to pay attention to the ceiling and put some proper lights in ourselves because it's going to get kind of dark, I suppose. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is add on a couch. Now, there's kind of two halves to this room. So look at this couch. This is a double-facing couch. A double, what would you call it? A two-way couch or a double-aspect couch? I think I searched on Google for a two-way couch. Um, and Dealer Block came up with this nice designed for a couch where you use spruce stairs and coarse dirt and the coarse dirt looks like brown leather so I thought it looked at like a double facing seat and it makes sense in a room like this because you could face the fireplace or you could face the TV depending on what you want to do and even if you do have the fire on you can still get warmth in the back of your neck when you're watching TV anyway so I uh, put in some more chairs around the place and um, finished off the sofa as you can see and the ceiling is looking not too bad as well just going to add some plants on i think i have ender and this texture pack looks like a bit um like a wooden stock here we go wooden stock wooden stock and the plants the most pleasing feature out of the whole texture pack i think is these things right ceiling time so we're looking at the ceiling and i've dug down into it a little bit and what i'm going to do is just add some of these awesome Iron bars. Don't you think they look really cool in Minecraft now? Because they don't, they don't stick out like stupid sticky out things. Yep, good description, Andrew. Good description, Andrew. Right, grab some lights and stick them on there. There we go. Boing. 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 Uh, boing. I'm going to put two on because I realised what well, there and there I'm actually going to grab some glass. And this looks like white stained glass will look like kind of the last bit of the light hanging down the fixtures and fittings. There we are. Well, you could add more detail, I guess, into the ceiling if you wished. But um, I've put on a, some sh uh, some shelves on the wall as well, off camera. But that is pretty much it. Definitely could add a lot more detail, but it's over to you guys. If you download it, you can furnish it and maybe pimp up that ceiling. I think that ceiling could do with a bit more bit more of a, a going over as well. But there we go. Yeah, great room complete some of my paintings have fallen off never mind let me show you what we did in the rest of the house now frack one of the builders on the server designed me uh, a kitchen again super easy super simple nothing too complicated little pantry here this furnishing is kind of like basic furnishing not too much crammed in with stuff dealer block did me that table so thank you very much still got the um e, e corner like little desk for a computer to finish up upstairs in the uh, bonus room above the garage still got a little bit of work to do up here and i'll do that off camera so when you time you download it i will have uh completed bits of the roof uh, and so on for example you know oakwood stairs have got to go all the way all the way along there like that um and these bits here are a little bit un unfinished as well so that's all going to be kind of taken care of um definitely some decisions to make here with this window hmm hmm thinking 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 what do i do hmm what if i bring this up um wrap it around there 
I have to fix that block from the outside. I'll do that. But yeah, when you download it, you can download the furnished, furnished version and the unfurnished version. If you want the unfurnished version, great. Go ahead and completely furnish it. Do landscaping outside as well. Uh, send me pictures on Twitter if you do download it and furnish it. Or what you could do is take our furnished version and then completely pimp it up. I've got the attic through here. Definitely an attic. Maybe you could put a home cinema in that. I think it would look really cool. Home cinema up there. Plenty of space for it. Big garage here. Going to put on some garage doors. Going to leave you to do the garage doors yourself. Gonna put a workshop there as well. Round here, um, we furnished one of the bedrooms, kind of the blue carpet bedroom. This was done by Matthias the ruler. Thank you very much, Mattia Matthias. Looking pretty smart. Got a wee ensuite bathroom as well. Ooh, I'm liking those towel rails with the end rods. That's pretty cool. Liking that, Matt. Well done. Um, the pink room, leaving that un unfurnished. Okay, so even on the furnished version, you've still got a little bit to do here in the laundry room. Again, um, kind of 80%, 80%. It's like a first pass through this furnishing. Uh, thank you very much to Oh My God It's Jesse, who, remember, if you remember in the first few episodes, was one of the principal builders and helpers. He's put in a very contemporary, um, very contemporary dining room. Ah, this study. Hmm. Forgot the study. Hmm. Villager noise. Hmm. A uh, little bathroom there. I've put in the master suite. We'll have to do the study. I'll do the study on the camera, folk. Do the study on camera. Uh, there's the master bedroom. Hopefully give you some guys some ideas for inspiration um, in terms of furnishing. And I really hope you've enjoyed this series. Uh, the views were going down and down, so I'm going to have to end it at, at um, five episodes. But let me know what you want me to build on my channel next. I am thinking of doing a giant Jedi modern island mansion. That's my next kind of plan. I've still got the castle let's build. If you haven't seen the castle let's build, I've got three of them out, so do check out the castle. Videos, or have I got two? I think I've only got two videos out. I'm due a third video on the castle coming out probably tomorrow. This is the sitting room done by Dealer Block as well. You can see a sofa design, which I kind of pinched. And yeah, uh, of course, obviously the outside, you've got planting, you've got porch, you've got maybe you've got a, uh, maybe another chimney. Oh, we do have chimneys to put in. Forgot the chimneys. So um, probably by the time you download it, I'll put the chimneys on as well. Right, let's get this little study done. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pause the video here and um, show you exactly what I do with the go. Just putting on a little um, cafetiere, coffee maker. So we've got a desk, we've got filing cabinets, we've got some sort of cabinet on the wall with some books and a coffee maker. Just put that on there. And then last touch in this office, hmm, what can we have right there in between the filing cabinets, right here? Um, let me think, let me think. This is a voiceover, okay? I've already recorded this, but I can't remember what I chose. Oh, just a chest. Oh, a bit of a cop out here. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so there's a the study. Again, basic, add to it, pimp it out. Make it your study, make it the best. But that will do. That is the furnishing for this episode. Hopefully you've liked this um, suburban house build. The roof was really complicated. Hopefully when you download it, you can see just how complicated the roof was. It's going to be available for 1.9. Play it on your single player. Pimp out the landscaping, the furnishing, and yeah, let me know what you thought of this series, and I will see you soon. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and smash that thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys very, very soon. Let's build. Ciao, ciao for now. With the blocks, be with you.